Welcome back to Drug Talk, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a new COVID medication known as Paxlovid. Now, before we jump into the content itself, I just want to quickly let you know that you can pick up a copy of my new book, the fifth episode, Inside the Manic Mind, by clicking on a link in the description of this video. So as of December 22nd, 2021, Nirmatrovir and Ritonavir were put together as a combination product and approved for emergency use for COVID-19 patients. It was the FDA that approved this medication for emergency use, and it's meant for pediatric patients over the age of 12 and adults who are at risk of developing severe COVID-19 that may put them in the hospital. Aside from the age restriction, there's also a weight restriction put on this medication in that a patient would have to be 40 kilograms or greater and also had received viral testing for COVID-19 with a positive test, of course. Now, before somebody was to use this medication, if they were prescribed it, there are some precautions that they should be made aware of. First off, because this medication is approved through emergency authorization, there's lacking clinical data for the use of nirmatrovir and ritonavir together, so there could be some serious adverse events that come up unexpectedly with the use of these two medications together, aside from when they're used separately. In terms of precautions surrounding your liver, there have been cases where liver enzymes have been elevated, some patients have developed clinical hepatitis, as well as jaundice. Because of this, we would want to use this medication very cautiously in patients who have liver disorders or liver enzyme abnormalities or hepatitis. Immunologically, there have been some hypersensitivity reactions reported, such as angioedema, urticaria, or difficulty breathing. If these were to occur, chances are the medication would have to be stopped and supportive care would be given to the patient. Aside from precautions, there are also some contraindications with this medication, which would be reasons that patients would not be able to use Paxlovid. These contraindications really come down to drug interactions, so while I won't go over all the drug interactions, I'll go over some of them that really stood out to me. This medication should not be given alongside with loracidone or Latuda, as well as clozapine. These are antipsychotic medications. There are two statins that cannot be taken with Paxlovid, them being lovastatin and simvastatin. And we would also avoid giving this medication with sedative hypnotics such as triazolam or midazolam. Now once somebody is aware of all the precautions and they're cleared of some contraindications that their physician and pharmacist would go over with them, the question now is how is this medication dosed? So if a patient is prescribed Paxlovid because they're at high risk of being hospitalized due to COVID-19, they would receive two medications as I mentioned before, one being Nirmatrovir, which would be two 150 milligram tablets for a total of 300 milligrams per dose, as well as Ritonavir 100 milligram tablets. So a patient would take two tablets of Nirmatrovir and one tablet of Ritonavir twice daily with or without food for five days. They would want to start taking this medication as soon as possible after being diagnosed or testing positive for COVID-19, and they would want to also start this medication within five days of the onset of symptoms. Now what happens if somebody misses a dose of Paxlovid? Well, if you realize that you missed a dose within eight hours of your scheduled dosing time, you can take a dose as soon as possible and then resume your regular dosing schedule. But if it's greater than eight hours from when you were supposed to take a dose, you would skip that dose and then take your next dose at the regular time. Never double up on this medication to make up for a missed dose. Now, once somebody starts taking this medication, they would want to be aware, like with all medication, about what the side effects are. The two most common side effects are gastrointestinal side effects, one being that 3% of people experience diarrhea, and the other is that 6% of people experience an altered taste. Aside from the common side effects, there are also some more serious side effects, such as the development of toxic epidermal necrolysis or Steven Johnson syndrome. Some people may find on their blood work that there's an increase in their liver enzyme levels, and some patients may develop hepatitis. And lastly, some patients may experience hypersensitivity reactions, which may include angioedema. That's all we're going to discuss today about Paxlovid, which is a combination medication, once again, of Nirmatrovir and Ritonavir. Take care.